Okay, now we're going to discuss sag throws. A sag throws principle uh, sounds just like what it says. We're going to sag and then throw. The principle is if we want to get on the corner of our opponent, okay, we don't want to face our opponent for our throw. We want to get on their corner. So once again, our bodies make a T. Uh, most everything in freestyle, Greco Roman, folk style wrestling, most of the moves that you're going to hit are going to be based on angles. That 90 degree angle is critical. Because it gives you so much more leverage over your opponent to be able to drive sideways into your strength and away from their power. Side throw is no different. We want to be on the side of our opponent where our opponent cannot base out, spread their legs, and what they say, get heavy. And freestyle and crack rope is making our body heavy to make the throw hard. So we want to make sure that we get on uh, the angle of our opponent. Number two, the body position is once we, once we get a body back and we take our big step and we turn on the corner, we want to make sure that we sag. And again, this is an elevation change. We're going to sag our butt like we're sitting in a chair. And we turn the corner, we get our lock, we pinch our elbows in, go around the waist. We're going to sag, we're going to look at the ceiling, and we're going to explode over onto our shoulder. So we're going to come here, turn, and sag, and throw it over. Okay? So understanding how we're going to get a lock on somebody, from a basic pummel, we're going to be falling in, falling in. Once you get a good over under position with your lock in, we want to make sure that we get out of the opponent's corner, as I said. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take a big step. We're going to swing, take a big step, and hop around the corner of our opponent. And we're going to immediately drop down and lock on their hip. Okay? Gable grip, butterfly grip, mini butterfly. But what we want to do is we want to make sure that we trap this arm. We want to make sure we trap this on. Okay? You notice my feet position when I step around that corner. I'll do it with my back turned here first so you can see. Okay? We take a big step. I turn the corner and I'm locked. My knees are going to pinch in. And guys, you remember when I talk about pinching the penny. If you put a penny right between your butt cheeks, that will teach you how to get your hips underneath you. Every sag throw and most throws in freestyle require you to get your hips underneath here. If you don't get your hips underneath, you're lifting with all upper back and you have no power. You have to make sure you get your hips underneath, pinch the penny. If the penny won't fall out, then you're in proper position. Okay? So again, we're going to turn the corner, I'm going to take a big step. Here, I'm going to lock on my opponent's waist. Okay, you're here, I'm pinching in, pinch the penny. Okay, my hips are underneath me for a proper lift. To execute the throw, we are going to sag and explode to drive our opponents back onto the mat and follow through with our hips coming over. Okay, so how it's going to look, I'm going to over here, I'm going to step, face up, I'm going to turn the corner, I'm going to get a body lock position on my opponent. Okay, I'm going to step in. You see my hips here? Hips in. Pinch leg. I'm going to sag and then throw. Sag and then throw. Okay? Again. We're going to go over there. Okay, I'm going to lock in. Maybe I even want to push him on his elbow. To get his elbow back. Here. Turn the corner. Hips in. Sag and throw. Hips in. Okay? And that's a proper sign.